Hi sisters, James Charles here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Or should I say welcome back to Press Week? We normally never do like themed upload weeks or anything, so this is a little bit different for us and this is actually not intentional either. We started working on today's video a few months ago and I'm so excited for you guys to see it. But when we looked at our video calendar, it just kind of happened to work out that we had two videos in a row focusing on one of the most important parts about being an influencer, which is, as Queen Cardi B says, press, 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 press. press, press, press. press. In our last video, which I guess is like the part one to this video, I don't even know. If you've not yet seen it, make sure you go click right up here. But basically I watched and reacted to some of my old press interviews and we focused a lot on red carpets and also talk shows. But if you noticed, we skipped it on one very, very big part of press and that is paparazzi. And that's what we're focusing in on today's video. Getting paparazzi is definitely very, very different for every single celebrity and influencer. Some celebrities ignore them altogether. Some people use them to get really good outfit photos. Some people use them to address scandals or situations that are going on. And some people just like bantering back and forth. Personally, I fall under that last category. I really like getting paparazzi. I think it's a lot of fun and I've had pretty good experiences with them in the past, but since they're always asking me questions and taking photos of me, I thought for today's video, I would flip the script on them. For the past few months, every single time that I have gone out in public, I've had on a cute outfit and also a purse filled with makeup products. Whether it be a lunch with my team, a business meeting, or a cute dinner with friends, I had one type of my makeup routine here in a purse and I posted on my Instagram story where I was hoping that I would get paparazzi and every single time that somebody met me in the face of the camera, I flipped it on them and asked them what I should do for my makeup routine. And in today's video, the paparazzi are gonna pick my makeup. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and get started. I already went ahead and pried my face. And for our first step, we have our foundation. Now this video actually started a few weeks ago at Catch, a very, very famous restaurant here in LA where I was going to dinner with some friends. And when we got to the restaurant, I was greeted by one of my favorite paparazzi in the entire world, Kevin Wong. Kevin is an amazing photographer who has gotten so many great outfit shots of me and many other influencers. And recently he actually started videotaping his paparazzi interactions as well. So this is perfect for today's video. And I asked him to pick up my foundation and concealer. <gasps> Hi guys, how are you guys doing, James? I gotta get a couple shots here, James. Okay. One, one, two, three, one, two, three. I gotta get a group shot, everybody. One, two, three. One, two, three. Perfect, perfect. Okay, Kevin, yes. while you're still rolling, I wanna ask you a question, okay? Yes. Do you know a lot about makeup? Uh, a little bit here and there. Okay, do you wanna help me out with a fun little project? Yes. Kevin Wong, I need you to tell me what foundation you think I should use the next time that I get ready. We have three options for you, okay? Yes. You can tell me to put on either Too Faced Born this way, this beautiful option right here, some Dior Air Flash, or some Fenty Beauty. Oh, so I, have, so I decided. You just tell me which one you think is going to be best. Got this, Kevin. You got this, Kevin. <laughs> There's no wrong answer. There's no wrong answer. No wrong answer, I promise. I would say I would like this. The, the middle one? The, the middle one. Okay, Kevin, I will apply the middle one. And now for concealer, we have three options again. We have some nice Fenty Beauty again. We have some MAC or we have Tarte Shape Tape. You tell me which one you think I should use. Once again, no wrong answer. A, a second foundation. Um, uh, sure. <laughs> I would say the one on the left. This one? Uh, or this one? This one. Okay, Fenty Beauty. Fenty Perfect. Beauty. Perfect. Thanks, Kevin Wong. Th thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, Before we walked into the restaurant for our dinner, Kevin actually selected the Dior Air Flash Foundation, which I'm super excited for today. I don't actually know if I've ever used this foundation by itself. I normally use it to mix in with others. So I'm not sure how this is gonna look. The one thing about this foundation is I feel like it literally takes so much for it to actually like cover anything because it's a pretty light coverage situation. Oh my God, are you kidding me? And then for my concealer, Kevin recommended that I use the Fenty Beauty, so I'm gonna put that on as well. Okay, you guys, so our base is all blended in and is looking okay so far. I'm honestly not sure how I feel about this foundation being separate and not mixed in with other things, but we're gonna finish up this look and see how it comes out in the end. But of course, now we have to set this in place using a powder. Now, I went to a team lunch at my arguably favorite restaurant in all of LA called Zinke. It is a super cute little French restaurant in West Hollywood that I am obsessed with. I go there literally all the time, and almost every single time that I'm there, I'm greeted by one of my favorite paparazzi in the entire world outside Fletcher from Hollywood Fix. Hey, what is up, James? Oh, the new shoes again, man. You are always killing it with Thank the you shoes. So much. Do you like the fit today? Yes, I like that. Yeah, tell me all about your outfit. Okay, I got on some nice, these are the off-white Air Force Ones, right? This is just got a simple black little suit on. Okay. Got a bag and a nice little. There you go. I like it. I was actually, it was freezing last week when we were here when you found when you saw me last <laughs> time. I know it's so hot today. I know. 
literally melting. What's been going on with you lately, James? I, I need some some tea, some sizzling okay. hot tea. Well, actually, okay, to be honest, Fletcher, not huh? too much has been going on, but I have a question for you. Okay, uh oh, oh you turning the tables? Uh oh. <laughs> you know that I love messing with you, but I uh -oh. do have a genuine okay. question, okay? Okay, all right. Okay. So, I know that, you know, a lot of times when you found me, I've clowned you for not yes. always doing the research, but you've improved. True. You've killed it. Okay? I'm working on it. So, if you've been a true, you know, sister watching my videos, That's I want right. to ask you a makeup question. Okay. okay. All right, let's so, see what you got. Fletcher, if I, for my next video, okay, okay. I want you to tell me which powder should I use. Okay. Perhaps some Laura Mercier. All right. Patrick Starr's new powder that he just released. Okay. Or perhaps the Fenty Beauty. You know what? I'm gonna have to go with Patrick Star. Okay, good choice. That's... I'm really excited to try that one too. Yes, I'm gonna go with Patrick Star. The contour. Okay? okay. Last question for you. All right. Everybody knows I'm an expert in contour. Are you? Yes. <laughs> that's just my forte. What you, have you got? The Kendall X Kylie Contour okay. Stick. Little oh. Kylie Jenner moment. Okay. Cosmetics. All right. Anastasia Beverly Hills. Okay. And we have a nice Morphe. I'm gonna have to say Morphe. Yes. Yeah, so those are my <laughs> official uh, choices for your makeup looks. Perfect. Okay, you guys. So Fletcher obviously recommended that I use the Patrick Star one size beauty set, Patrick Star one size beauty setting powder. So I'm going to go ahead and pop that on my face. James, every single time we see Fletcher, you always like light up. You're really excited to see him. <laughs> I love seeing Fletcher. Why? Well, for one, I feel like he was one of the first paparazzi to really start focusing on like influencers, which is like, once again, fun. Like I said in the beginning of this video. And I also feel like he asked pretty respectful questions. Like I've definitely had a few bad paparazzi experiences, um, but I feel like for the most part, he always asks like relatively appropriate questions. He doesn't pry too much about drama. And like, if I don't want to talk about something, I like will say it and I feel like he'll respect that, which is, I feel like really, really important to build a good relationship between celebrity or influencer and paparazzi. So I don't know. It's always just like a good time. I feel like comfortable with him on camera, if that makes sense. Now that I look crazy, it's time to go on to the next step, which is of course, adding some contour intervention back into the face. And Fletcher chose the Morphe contour, which of course you can use code James for 10% off of. What is like the craziest paparazzi experience you think you've had? Ooh, like in comparison to the good ones? I've, well, okay, when I think of bad paparazzi experiences, I think of two. And both of them happened during the, like the scandal last year. Um, the first bad one was when I was still in Australia. It wasn't a bad interaction, but the team that I was with told me not to say anything. So when I got to the Australian airport, ready to fly back to America during the whole scandal situation, that was the first time I had been seen. And I basically just didn't say anything. Like the paparazzi was filming me, asking me all sorts of questions. Like, what happened? Are you okay? Are you gonna address this? Like, are you gonna apologize? And all, like all these crazy, crazy hard hitting questions about the whole situation. And I literally just sat there completely silent ignoring him, which in my opinion is never a good thing to do because that can sometimes make you look even more guilty than if you do give an actual good answer. So that was a bad one. And then the other worst one, I was shopping on Rodeo Drive with Drew. Oh, and my, and my stylist at the time, um, Fletcher found us coming out of a store and started asking a few you know, questions about the whole scandal situation. Nothing crazy, but then in the middle of the Hollywood Fix interview, TMZ found me. TMZ found me and they started literally going crazy with the questions, all sorts of things which I was absolutely not prepared to answer. It was like literally Fletcher being like, are you okay? Are you hanging in there? What's going on? And then all of a sudden TMZ comes and says, James, are you paying the waiter to make this video about you? Like, and I literally just sat there. I think, I don't even remember what I, I think I literally responded back being like, you're an idiot. Cause it was just so ridiculous to me at the time. I was like, how, like after all that I have been through, like that was the last thing that I wanted to get asked or wanted to deal with the even more ridiculous accusations that were so beyond stupid. Um, but yeah, I think I said something mean to him, which probably wasn't the best thing to do, but I literally just walked away because I was not about to entertain any of that BS. Is this even a, this is a bronzer. That's, oh my God, this, I, oops. All right, you guys, so now that we are all chiseled in, or should I say burnt in, <laughs> we have to add a little bit more color to the face. And for the next step, we're going to do blush. Now, blush actually happened the same night as our catch dinner. We saw Kevin when we walked in, but when we walked out, I did not have additional makeup products, but I did get spotted by, I believe, Shooting Stars TV. So let's go ahead and take a look at that clip. I'm here live right here at uh, Shooting Stars TV. Yeah, uh, what, anything, anything upcoming right now? Any, um... I have lots of fun projects happening right now. Of course, we post videos every Tuesday and Friday. My next video, actually is with Lil Nas okay. X, celebrating his okay. new song coming out. Um, very exciting Black Friday song coming up for Sisters Apparel. Yeah. And just ready to celebrate the holidays with my friends and family. Do you know anything about makeup? Um, just uh, eyeliner, eyeshadow, uh, blush. Okay, there we go. 
Okay. So, okay, you know about blush. What color blush do you think that I should use the next time I do my makeup? Mm. Like a peachy tone, a pinky tone. But what uh, type of outfit though? Like you gotta know what type of outfit, right? That is true. Oh, Haven't thought about the outfit just yet. I'll pick the outfit based on the makeup look. So just choose the makeup. Okay. Something orangey, something pinky, something more like red. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do like the the thought of like having like a peach with the orange. Okay. Oh. Kind of like you have on like that. Okay. Thank yeah. you, dude. Nice to meet you. Yeah. I hope you do that. I look forward. All right, you guys. So he suggested that I use a peachy orangey blush, which normally I would love, but not really sure how I'm feeling considering I already burnt my face it looks like but we're just gonna go right in because that is what he selected all right you guys so the next steps of our makeup routine are of course going to be brows and highlighter and these were picked out a few weeks ago on a shopping trip down in West Hollywood my team and I plus Drew went to Kith a really cute store here in LA to get some new items for the closet and when we left the store we were met by Pap Galore and I asked him for some recommendations uh, how are you Dave how's it Dave um, question for you yeah what's up okay so I'm working on a fun little video, okay? Okay. Where I'm just talking to my favorite paparazzi people. Yeah, I have sure. a fun question, okay? Before I right. head out. Okay, so the next <laughs> thing that I do with my eyebrows, okay. should I right. use either Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pencil, okay. an Urban Decay brow pencil, or yeah. Patrick Ta brow gel? Okay. I think you should go with that one. Okay, the Patrick Top brow yeah, gel? Yeah, it just kind of looks a little exotic or something. Fire, okay. Yeah. And then if I'm going to do doing a highlighter, okay. once again, same type of situation, okay. Oprah highlighter, Anastasia Beverly Hills, or Fenty Beauty? Uh, Rihanna was my crush going up, so I'm going to go with the Fenty Beauty that. for Good sure. Good choice. Okay, <laughs> fire. <laughs> All right, guys, so for brows, Pap Galore chose the Patrick Ta brow gel, and I really, really like this product, so I'm super excited by that today. All right, you guys, now that the brows are all locked in, I'm just gonna give my face a quick spritz of setting spray so it has something to stick to, and then grab my Fenty Beauty highlighter, which was also selected by Pap Galore. It is finally time to move on to my favorite part of the makeup process, which of course you guys all know is eyeshadow, where we get to finally pull the whole look all together, and this was selected outside of Boa Steakhouse. I went to dinner with my family here in LA while they were here for the holiday season. Season. It was so much fun. It's one of my favorite restaurants in the entire world. Shout out to Paul. Love you the absolute most. Um, when we actually got to Boa, there was like a million different people and paparazzis outside. So there was quite a lot of different cameras and interviews all going on. But I asked the paparazzi to pick some colors out of the James Charles X Morphe palette, which by the way, okay, not only is this a great palette for everyday makeup wearers, but it's also a perfect, amazing holiday gift. So if you guys want to shop this or the mini version, of course it is available on Morphe and you can use code James for 10% off. I asked paparazzi to pick some eyeshadow colors, and here's what the Daily Star has had to recommend. Oh, yeah. Hi, so, I see you got the whole family. Oh, let's get a shot right here. Oh, can we get a group shot, please? Yeah, of course. Oh, my God, let's do it. One, two, three. One, two, three. And one time this way, right here. One, two, three. I have a question for my favorite paparazzi people, okay? Let's hear it. I'm working on a fun video where I'm asking my favorite paparazzis to pick my makeup. So it's it. always you guys asking me questions, but I'm gonna flip it back on you, okay? Let's see. So I brought with me in my Birkin right here, at the endless bag. I have my palette, okay? I need you to tell me which colors I should use in my next makeup look. Just pick any. Just design a look for me right now. Let's do the like four pink. The four pink? I love okay. that. I like the blue. A pink and blue look? Yeah, I don't know, maybe that's too much. Okay, I mean, it's up to you guys. And then to tie it all together, what color lip should I do? Red. Red, do that it. was fast. Ooh. Red, do we all agree on red? I like some nude, some, I don't know. A some, nude? Okay. Okay, cute, a nude option, or that works black. too. Oh, a black lip. Yeah. Lots of different options, okay. I'll come up with something good and show it to you guys. Okay. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. Can we take a picture? Yes, of course. All right, you guys, so we're gonna be using these four colors in the bottom corner right here of my palette, which actually I feel like is gonna match perfectly to the hoodie that I have on today, which is super, super cute. So let's go ahead and get started. Oh my God, wouldn't it, would it be so cute if I tried to do like a tie-dye makeup look to match this hoodie? Should I try that? I have never done a look like this before, so I'm not sure if it's going to work, but I'm going to try my best. While the concealer on my eyelid is still wet, I'm just gonna grab a tiny little fluffy brush and some Love That, which is this color right here, and basically just like, like splotch this on my eyeball. And now with a fluffier brush, I'm just gonna grab a little bit of Skip, which is the bright neon pink, and I'm going to basically go over the entire area. Now same thing on the lower lash line. Okay, you guys, so now with a little bit of Single and a little bit more Love That mixing it together, I'm going to try to create this like tie-dye look my eyeballs. Not loving this eyeshadow look. I was loving the concept, uh, just not loving the execution. Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and cut for a little bit. Try to, you know, fix this up in any way that I possibly can. Do the other eye off camera, then I'll be right back to finish up the rest of the look. I decided to do the other eye as blue because that's what one of the other paparazzis recommended outside of the restaurant. And I think that it actually looks really, really cute, like the tie-dye eyes. I could, however, have executed this tie-dye look better. 
All right, you guys, and last but finally not least, we have our lips to finish off the entire look. And the paparazzi actually suggested three different options being, I think, black lip, red, and then nude. Not feeling the black with this look because it would be too dark. The red, I think, would look uh, terrible and clash with these two colors, so nude it is. All right, you guys, so now it is finally time to lock this makeup look in place using a little bit of setting spray. That way, if I go out and get paparazzi, this makeup look is all set and ready to go. Look at this coming full circle. And all right, you guys, I think that is this makeup look chosen completely by paparazzi all complete. I think that I like how this makeup look turned out today. I think all the products work together really, really well, and I'm definitely happy with the finished result. This eyeshadow look, on the other hand, definitely not the best that I've done. Okay, let's just be honest with each other, you and I. I was trying to go for the whole tie-dye vibe to match the hoodie, but regardless, I'm definitely looking forward to hearing what you guys have to say in the comment section down below. This video has been in the works for literally months now. So much work and planning and cute outfits and amazing interviews with paparazzi went into this. So if you enjoyed it today, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up down below, and also make sure you click that bigger subscribe button and come join the sisterhood and finally click that bell icon so you can notified every time I upload a brand new video. If you'd like to follow me on my makeup journey, all my social media accounts are going to be linked right here around the screen and also my personal phone number if you want to text me for updates on new videos, photos, merch, and so much more is 310-905-8746. This video's sister shout out goes to sister Joey. Thank you so much love for always following and supporting. I love you so, so, so much. And if you'd like to be the next video's sister shout out, don't forget to always retweet my video links when I go live on Twitter. Last but finally not least, just to remind you guys, obviously it is December, the holiday season, and we are doing our 25 days of Sismas every single day at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on my Instagram stories. I've been announcing super, super cute giveaway boxes with tons of super cute themes like Among Us, Netflix and Chill, Animal Crossing, tech boxes, makeup boxes, and so much more. So make sure you guys head on over there, turn on my post notifications so you get the chance of winning. All right, you guys, I love you so, so, so much. Thank you for joining me in today's video. I love you and I will see you in the next one. Bye.